Greetings and a warm welcome to the Comfort Corner, a palliative care series on Oncodaily. We aim to raise awareness about the critical needs for palliative and supportive care among cancer patients with the goal of improving their quality of life. Our motto, Navigating Life's Twist with Compassion, encapsulates our mission. My name is Martin Hartunian. I'm a medical oncologist and palliative care specialist from Yolian Hematology and Oncology Center in Yerevan, Armenia. I am honored to introduce Professor Florian Scotti, a renowned medical oncologist and expert in supportive care. He leads Gustav Rossi's interdisciplinary department for the organization of patient pathways established in March 2020. Professor Scotti holds a doctorate of science in medical ethics and his expertise extends beyond medical protocols. As a national and international leader in supportive care, he actively shapes strategies to improve patients' lives. And his legacy lies in patient-centered care research and ethical excellence. Hello, Professor Scotty. We are delighted to have you with us today. My pleasure. Uh, we have prepared some questions to ask you. And first of all, we would like to learn about your path in supportive care. How the, did you decide to focus on supportive care and what key moments shaped your journey? Okay, thank you for that first question. So uh, what is my path? So I, I started to learn medicine because I wanted to, um, to support patients, like every physician, I suppose. But my uh, my main purpose was uh, was really to uh, to help patients. And when I uh, uh, started medical oncology, uh, I uh, obviously uh, saw the interest of supportive care and cancer management. And uh, and uh, I started very quick to be informed on GCSF use, antimatics use, and uh, organization around the patient and uh, and uh, the carers in order to alleviate suffering from uh, from cancer and uh, and treatments so uh, this is my uh, my uh, evolution uh, so I, I have been involved in uh, building uh, the first dedicated unit in supportive care at uh, George Pompidou European Hospital in uh, in Paris in France then uh, I moved to uh, Hôpital Foch uh, to become head of department of medical oncology and uh, supportive care unit and I developed several things like uh, a day hospital, uh, a dedicated unit, uh, et cetera. And then I moved to Gustave Roussy in 2020 in order to, to develop an innovative division uh, combining uh, uh, um, critic, uh, um, sorry, ICU uh, department plus ambulatory department with the emergency unit and uh, also a specific unit with uh, uh, navigator nurses to manage the patient at home and the supportive care department. So it's a large division with uh, uh, 350 uh, professionals uh, with very large uh, overview of the, the, the patient journey uh, uh, from the diagnosis with consultation uh, uh, to uh, management of nutrition disorders, uh, uh, psychological disorders, uh, emergency visits in the case of complication and uh, ICU uh, uh, hospitalization uh, when uh, when dying uh, in a bad uh, a bad moment um so my my pivotal uh, uh, moments during my journey uh, were that in terms of professional uh, development but uh, my my first involvement in uh, in uh, real supportive treatment was the the uh, the research on, on ecolysis and uh, skin toxicities, palmar plantar erythrodysesthesia. Uh, so uh, uh, we have developed an interesting approach with the frozen glove and frozen socks delivered to the patients and the dose tax cell therapies for prostatic cancer and uh, and uh, breast cancer uh, in the in the past in, in, 20, in 2003. Uh, it was the first, uh, the first trial that I, that I uh, that I did, uh, and uh, it has been presented at the ASCO meeting in a, an oral presentation in twenty uh, in, in ten uh, in, in two thousand four, 
if I remember well. It was a very first, uh, very uh, uh, interesting and uh, impacting presentation for 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 my uh, for me and uh, in in my life. And then the different uh, set, the different uh, uh, times uh, of the uh, of the journey were presented. And uh, the last, uh, well, there was an, another one. With the creation of the AFSOS, the French Speaking Association of Supportive Care and Cancer, in uh, 28, with uh, several colleagues and uh, friends. And um, and then, uh, obviously, the uh, integration of, uh, of Mask Board and the election as uh, president elect in 2022. And I will um, take the position of, of president in, uh, in June 2024 in France during the, the mass meeting at Lille. And I hope that you will be with us. And yes. I uh, enjoy to welcome everybody uh, uh, on the screen to uh, to, to join us uh, in France. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, supportive care is a complex field. How do you ensure that it remains patient-centered and addresses not only uh, physical symptoms, but also emotional and social needs? Well, this is a key question, Martin. Uh, thank you for 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 asking that. Um, the The main objective, the main purpose of uh, supportive care is to be patient centered care. Uh, so it has been developed during several meetings, uh, and uh, I remember the, uh, the the meeting in I think it was in twenty fourteen, uh, combining the um, the ASCO palliative care uh, at the ASCO palliative care meeting. The ASCO Association, the Mask Association, and the Palliative uh, Care uh, from America Association, and it was really interesting to uh, asking to stop separating uh, curative intent, palliative intent, supportive intent, blah blah blah, and then moving to the patient-centered care approach. So this is the main objective that we have to keep in mind. We never have to to forget that the. Uh, the uh, the goal of our daily living is uh, supporting patients, helping patients that uh, that we have in front of us, patients and their carers, their caregivers. So the uh, the second part of your question is about um, the uh, the separation of between uh, uh, physical, psychological, emotional, uh, social uh, disorders. I think that supportive care is a very global approach, and if we focus on uh, on uh, Physical symptoms, it can be the door to uh, to enter to the the, the area of of psychology and social problems. What we do, what we try to do with patients at Gustave Roussy in uh, in my division, is to assess the global uh, the glo uh, the uh, entireness of of uh, of the patients. Mm -hmm. So we send him a questionnaire, a self. Uh, questioner before starting uh, the treatment, before the first meeting with the uh, with the the oncologist, the the, the cancer provider, uh, and they uh, they self answer to the to the questions with different domains, psychological, physical, with the uh, the embassy uh, questioner, um, autonomy, uh, uh, treatments, uh, history, uh, uh, psychological uh, uh, situation, uh, uh, etc. We have. Uh, we have nine domains uh, of uh, interest, and uh, uh, we 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 can have a score depending on the different alerts on the on the domains, and uh, then depending this score, we propose a day hospital to assess the patients because it, it appears the patient appears to appears to be a, a complex in a complex situation. Uh, that needs to be uh, to be globally assessed. So we have a nurse, a physician, and two other uh, professionals, uh, often a dietitian, uh, dietitian and uh, uh, an uh, educator in physical activity. Uh, and then we propose at the end of the uh, the, the day hospital um, a personalized patient pathway. Uh, with uh, several uh, with a timeline of uh, different uh, appointments to 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 support him. So to conclude, it's a global approach with the association of physical, social, and psychological management.
Thank you. Your international involvement in supportive care is remarkable. How can collaborations enhance the quality of supportive care worldwide, especially across different healthcare systems? Well, the interest of MASK is to be a, a global association. Uh, and the, uh, the, the, the objective of uh, Jean Klasiarski when, uh, when he created the, uh, the association in uh, 1990 uh, was to, to um, uh, approach the supportive care uh, question with a different cultura cultural uh, um, living uh, approach with the, the different uh, uh, cultures, with the different uh, um, uh, healthcare systems, uh, uh, discrepancies, uh, etc. So uh, we need to learn from the others. I think that is the main message. And MASK is, uh, has that in mind, is to always keep that. Uh, we have patients coming from Africa, Asia, uh, uh, America, and Europe. Uh, but they are all patients and they are living in different countries with different specificities and we have to manage them. And learning from uh, professionals from Africa or from Canada uh, are completely, with completely different approaches mm -hmm. is useful and it enriches the, uh, the, uh, the daily practice of everybody. So we have uh, affiliates, uh, Many from Europe. We have from uh, many from uh, Asia. Also, we have one from uh, Africa in, uh, in Morocco. Uh, we have centers of excellence, and um, obviously, uh, uh, many thousands uh, uh, members uh, with masks, uh, with study groups, and we are all able to uh, to to discuss about around the patients, and uh, we 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 propose the different approaches depending the uh, reimbursement of, uh, of drugs, access to care, uh, and the uh, specificities of, uh, of the different countries. So it's a very global approach, and it's so rich to uh, to, to learn from, uh, again, from the others. I think yeah, that's been in, yeah. in, in, a, in a worldwide uh, involvement. Thank you. Congratulations on your role as the MASK president-elect. What specific changes or initiatives do you plan to introduce during your leadership to enhance supportive care globally? Well, thank you for your congratulations, first of all. Uh, then I will not answer to your question because I, I wait for you attending the mask meeting in June and I will deliver my message during this during this meeting. No, uh, my my main focus will be to um, to more impact mask in the toxicity management, the safety management of anti-cancer treatment. I think that it's crucial. Uh, we are in um, in an area of in a field of uh, of cancer uh, that is uh, completely changing. Uh, we are moving from chemotherapy, hormonotherapy to uh, targeted treatments to personalized medicine, uh, now immunotherapy and tomorrow uh, many uh, many other developments like T cells, uh, ADC, uh, etc. And we we know things, but we don't know everything. And we have to uh, to learn from these new drugs, and we have to disseminate the uh, the message of how to manage the patients with cancer and with new uh, treatments. It's because, in my opinion, the study group uh, related to emerging drugs, emerging toxicities, is really crucial. This is my my main uh, my main approach. The other the other approaches, approaches are to uh, increase the number of uh, new members and to have uh, a real, as I mentioned previously, a, a real approach with a global vision of uh, of cancer care and uh, patients, patients and carers management. So uh, I really want that each member become an ambassador of MASK and each member uh, being able to, uh, to enrich the number of uh, the, the, the the new members uh, to join uh, to join join this uh, this this movement. So, the message of mask is supportive care makes excellent cancer care possible. I think this is what we have to keep in mind every day, in front of every patient, and uh, I want to really promote this message worldwide. Oh, thank you very much. Mask switch extends worldwide. 
how will you advance the science of supportive care and foster partnerships and collaborations globally? It's uh, moving to new affiliates, uh, so moving to new countries uh, uh, to, to support the development of supportive care. Uh, it's also the, uh, the development of centers of excellence with new members and uh, with the different approaches, as you mentioned uh, also previously, with the different healthcare systems, reimbursement, uh, access to care, and uh, dealing with uh, people from Serbia, for example, uh, from Armenia, uh, having uh, uh, people from uh, from uh, from uh, uh, America and, and Africa is uh, is uh, what we need to 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 better approach the patients because you can be in 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 America you can be in Paris living in Paris and having no resources and uh, no abilities to uh, to have uh, correct supportive care uh, correct management of your of your cancer so learning from what are able to do the other countries is is uh, really really helpful and uh, and uh, what we can do in uh, in developed countries uh, can be uh, uh, of interest for low income countries and we we are a family at Ma with mask and we have to all uh, work and live together thank you very much dealing with emotionally demanding situations can be challenging how do you stay resilient and maintain empathy? Well, uh, the question is how to uh, to to answer is because uh, uh, I live for for patients, like every professionals in healthcare. Uh, I think if we keep uh, if we keep in mind this uh, this uh, this objective to uh, to, uh, to to support our patients and their their, their cares. I think that we can never lose our legs, that we will uh, keep uh, keep our way uh, in front of us. And this is my, my, my first answer. The second answer is that supportive care is so rich because we are uh, dealing with the, with the team. It's a multidisciplinary approach. And it's because we are daily working, living with uh, physicians, nurses, pharmacists, dietitians, uh, uh, so, so many, uh, so many other professionals or volunteers. Uh, it's because of that that we we are able to to discuss and to alleviate the um, the pain when uh, when we lose a patient and uh, when uh, we are in front of uh, different uh, difficulties related to the to the cancer. Thank you very much, Professor Scotty, for your insights today, and thanks to our listeners for joining us. Keep exploring palliative care and join us next time for more discussions at the Comfort Corner. Take care. Thank you so much.